it's morning and as you can see it's pretty calm outside before I get going today I thought I'd give you a tour of the boat to show you what it looks like when it's packed for a week and a half long trip and rather than doing this on day one I thought I'd show you day five so you can see how things settle in after being out on the boat for a while so the way I've got this organized is up here in the front, uh, I've got bags with extra clothing, extra dock lines, spare lines. I've got a bag with equipment to climb the mast. I've got a couple extra life jackets, a snorkel and mask. And this is where I keep the washboards. I found they fit nicely there and they don't bop around all day. Down below we've got the anchor road, boat hook, and the whisker pole. The orange bag here is my clothing bag. To port, this, and this is a new addition from since last year, this is the Yeti that we just picked up and it's been doing great. It's um, I filled it up with ice on the first day with the food and I've had to add two bags of ice and everything is still cold and now we're six days into the trip so this has proved to work out really well. Um, up top there I keep some bathroom supplies um, and also some eggs that don't need to be refrigerated. I've ripped out the head and put in a porta potty, and that's been working well. On the starboard side, we've got a hanging locker, um, life jackets, warm jackets, foul weather gear. I have a spare anchor here in the bottom. Cruising guides get tucked in there as well. And then up here, the prism that was originally installed had cracked, so I put in a solar fan. In the galley, we're ready, ready to start cooking breakfast this morning. So this is the Arigno stove, and it's gimbaled, so when the lobster boats go by in the morning, my food doesn't go spilling all over the boat. We've got dish storage on the side of the stove, an oil lamp for ambiance at night. And behind the stove, I have some more maps, um, more cruising guides, and that's where I put my pots and pans as well. Underneath the stove, that's where I keep all my food. It's in plastic bags so it stays dry. And then cooking utensils and so forth are in the two drawers. Another very small but subtle feature this boat has is this little wooden plank. And you may be wondering, what what is that for? Well, as it turns out, that plank plus a seat cushion turns into the perfect seat so when you're cooking you can reach the stove you can reach the sink and once breakfast is ready and it's time to eat you have these little tables that flip up and lock in place and there's one table on each side of the boat switching over to the starboard side we have the sink and behind the sink I've got some apples some oranges some water bottles paper towels um, this little rack has all the cleaning supplies, toothbrush, so that's easily on hand. Underneath the sink, this is all garbage. That's where I keep all the garbage for the trip until I get to somewhere so I can dump it out. Now underneath this berth here, it's got a 13 gallon water tank under it. And then I also put juice. I've probably got four gallons of juices under the other side of the berth. Um, behind the berth, we've got our flares. We've got an electronic torch, our spotlight, um, charging supplies, binoculars, the camera case, and it looks like I have a few apples tucked in there as well. To the back, we've got the fire extinguisher, the electrical panel. Underneath here, this is where I stuff my sleeping bag. I've got a little bucket with a lanyard, a towel, a little backpack for going ashore. The day-to-day -day garbage can. I've got a dry suit tucked in back there in case I have to go swimming. The autopilot, I leave it down here until I need it. Um, I stuff my pillows back here for the day. Looking at this side of the boat, we've got sunscreen, we've got my personal locator beacon, never go to Maine without your bug spray, you have a cell phone, chart plotter, and this little cubby I keep my headlamp, sunglasses, and a safety tether. And this side of the boat is pretty much all food. Um, so I've got some User manuals in the back there for all the electronics when I can't figure out how they work. Um, peanut butter, jelly, spaghetti, 
you know, and I've been eating the food down, so the shelf is getting pretty sparse. But we have plenty of coffee, so we're in good shape. Then underneath this berth, this is where I store extra water. So I started the trip with about eight extra gallons of water, and it looks like I should have more than enough to finish it. And that's that's about it. So that's the inside of the boat. That's how um, I have set it up for the trip, and so far it's working well. And even when the boat's heeled over 30 degrees, nothing goes flying around. Everything stays put, so I've been pretty pleased with how it's held up so far.